Hello and welcome to Golnerp Studios. In this video, we'll be learning how to build objects like in the LEGO games. So the first thing you need to do is go to Mechabricks and then build whatever you want to build and then export it as an OBJ. I like to not have the LEGO logo on there. It just adds more mesh. And then you want to make sure that they're all individually pieced because we'll be animating each piece individually. And then once you bring it in, make sure to check the auto keyframing and then come over here. I did 50, so I thought that was a good time frame to build it all in. And then make sure the end matches wherever you put it at. And then press A to select everything. And then G, R, and S. And then that'll just apply everything to the last keyframe so that in the end it'll be complete. And then go to the beginning and we'll just start bringing all of these out. All right, and now that it's destroyed, it can be put back together. Obviously this doesn't look good. That's why we're gonna make, go through and make it better. So starting with the bottom pieces, which are these ones, we're gonna come over here and select the end and then bring it up over here. And you wanna give it a few frames, maybe like six, so you can see it goes right into place. And then you want to go to the next piece, bring the beginning over here, and then give it a few more frames. So now we're slowly building it. And then to the next one. All right, and once you're done, you can go back and watch it. And then you can see that it just slowly builds itself. And then at the end, we're gonna select everything and press G. And we can just delete that last one. And then we're gonna go up a couple of frames, G, Z, and then select this one and do Shift D. And so now when it finishes, it lifts up and then drops down just like in the LEGO games. And then you want to select everything, go to File, Export, Alembic. And then I'm gonna use the LEGO animation presets, which is a scale of five. And then make sure that the start frame and the end frame is the same as down here and then make sure all of this is the same right here and just make sure all of this is the same i didn't really change anything i just unticked that and i believe i just checked these so everything should be the same for you basically just changing the scale to five and then just make sure to name it and export and then just come up to edit plugins and type in alembic and make sure that this is ticked if it's not, it won't work. So just make sure to tick that. If it's not, I believe it should just be there by default. You have to restart Unreal Engine and then you should be good to go. Go to Blueprints and then create a folder called Buildable. And in here, we're gonna import Lego Build, open. And you just wanna make sure all of these are checked. And it's very important, come up to Import Type. Make sure it's not on Static Mesh. It needs to be on Geometry Cache. Otherwise it will not do the animations. they will just be a Static Mesh. And then make sure that the frames are the same and everything else should be the same. I did change the rotation down here because it was rotating sideways for me. So just change that to 90 if you need to. And then you can click import. And then once you do that, right click blueprint and we're gonna do actor and then just call that Lego build BP. Then open that up and I'm just gonna show you what I did in mine. So first of all, what we need to do is go to blueprints and then you can see I have an interact blueprint. All you need to do is right click and then blueprints and blueprints interface. And then you just want to call that interact. I'm going to delete that because I already have it. But in interact, you want to come up here to the plus icon and you want to make interact and stop interact. I'm going to delete that because I already have it. So interact, interact, stop. So we can close that. We don't need it anymore. And then open the BP character the character that you're using and we want to come in here and first you need to create an enhanced input so we're going to go to the content third person input and actions and then copy and paste any of these and then call it interact and then come in here and click plus and then we just want to select interact i already have it so i don't need to do that and then just select this and press e and i had had the pause menu set as e before so just come over to the pause select that and then just make it tab usually it would be escape or something like that but whenever you push play and you press escape it just closes it so i just do tab and then after you create that in here you can close that out after saving and then the character again you want to right click and you want to type in enhanced input and then up on enhanced action events 
you want to select interact and I already have that so once you have that you want to drag off of triggered and get a for each loop with break and then drag off the loop and get a branch and then you want to come back over here and get overlapping actors and the class filter needs to be actor so just like that and then off of overlapping actors just drag off and put that in the array and coming off the array element we want to check does implement interface and then here you just want to type in the interface that we created and just make sure it's exactly the same spelling because there's a couple of interact interfaces it makes it confusing but just plug that into the branch over here and then off of the array element again you want to get the interact message right here and then just plug that in on the true and then drag off of that and break and then just double click to make it more organized and then just select all of this and copy and paste and then you just want to move that down here and then everything's exactly the same except you need to drag off the array element and type interact stop and then you're just gonna control drag and delete that and replace it interact stop and then you want to make sure that the overlapping actors is plugged into the array make sure that that is plugged into completed so when you press e it'll build and when you let go it'll pause so it'll trigger the st interact stop. So that's all for the BP character. So going back to the Lego building blueprint, we're gonna go to the content blueprints buildable, and you just wanna drag what we imported into here. So it's right there. And then you wanna add two box collisions and one of them you wanna scale down to the size of it when it's finished. And by default, you wanna set no collision. And once we're finished building, we're gonna turn on the collision so that way it has collision. But by default, you can just walk through everything. And then the next one, we want a regular collision and just overlap all dynamic. And this is so that we know if you're overlapping so that if you press E, it'll start building. So then in the event graph, we want to come up to class settings. And I already have the interact interface, but you want to come over to interfaces, click add, type in interact. And then I already have it, but you just want to select the one that just says interact and then click that and then it'll be right there. And once you add it, you'll notice when you come over here in interfaces, you'll see these and you just want to right click and I'm just going to delete this so I can show you. So on interact, you want to right click and implement interface. So you just want to drag that up. Off of event interact, you want to get a branch and then create a variable called finished with the default value of false and then just drag that in. And off of false, you want to hold S to get a sequence. And then off of zero, you want to hold down D to get a delay. And then drag off and play sound. And then you want to select the building sound. And if you come over to the sound SFX, you want to create a new folder called building. And then in the SFX folder in the LEGO tutorial, there's a new folder called building SFX. You want to open that up and just select everything and drag it in. And once you do that, you want to select everything except for the lego building finish right click and create single queue so when you open that it automatically puts everything into a random so that when you play it it plays a random effect so you want to select that after you've created it come to building and then just click the arrow and place it in there and then off of one you want to set running so you just want to drag off the lego building that you created which is this and then you just want to drag off and type set running and then you want to take that to true and then off of that you just want to set the amount which you want to create down here so add a new variable and call it amount and make it an integer and then you want to add and then place amount on the top and just add by one and then get a branch and place it off of here and just get the amount and put it on the top and we want a greater or equal to and put 70 however this could be different for whatever you're building so to test the number you want to use you want to get a print string and then drag this into here and then when you compile and then press play and then make sure you drag it into the scene and press play so you just want to hold it down until it stops and you can see that the last number that i did was 70 so whichever number you got to when it finished the animation you just want to put that number in here so you can just delete that come over here and then on true we want to get the building again and then set running to false and then off of here on the box which is this bottom box you want to set the collision to collision enabled curian physics so you just want to drag that off and then type in set collision enabled and then you want to get a new variable a boolean called finished and by default it needs to be off so just drag that in and take it to true 
and then get a do once and delay a 0.2 and you want to play the sound and it needs to be the Lego finished and you can bring it down to 0.4 because it's kind of loud and then off of here I just copied this from the stool that we did before so if you remember the loot you just want to copy that and then paste it in here and just delete this part and plug it into here after the sound and I just put five in there because I just wanted to give five coins next you want to get the interact stop so come up here right click implement event and then you want to drag off and get a branch and drag in the finished and on false you want to get the building and pause so now if you play and you press E if you let go it'll stop and if you press it again it'll resume So once you finish, you can now stand on it because it has collision and it gave you coins and it's all finished. And one more thing, if it's playing too long, I can just keep going even though it finished. You just want to take this number right here and drop it down. I think it's just whatever, how many frames you have. So 50, I think will work good for me. And you can see that works well. That's all for this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.